What's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking a body beat down here on this Friday afternoon. We have made it to the end of another week. And uh, this is my third day off of work for summer break. So, enjoying that pretty well. Just kind of sitting around doing nothing. So, anywho. So today we're going to be doing chest and tricep, and uh, I'm probably going to take it kind of easy on my chest today, and uh, put try to save more energy for my triceps and uh, put a little bit more into that workout today. So, uh, anywho, we got the bar ready to go. We got 135, and uh, we're going to do a couple of warm-up sets. And uh, not a whole heck of a lot more with bench, but uh, we'll do something. Something. So, please stick around for the video. It's going to probably be amazing. Probably the best thing you've ever seen. So, let's go ahead and get started on some flat bench. So today in this video, I'll kind of talk along the way instead of playing a bunch of music. Uh, so uh, if you looked at my community page, I mentioned something about maybe getting something in the mail, maybe by Saturday. Well, it looks like it's not going to get here until probably about Tuesday. So uh, I'll have something new to share with the community as far as a little unboxing goes, uh, probably about Tuesday. So. That'll give us a little something fun to do. <clears throat> something to look forward to. Whew. So let's get another warm up set done with 135. So I just got to thinking about something as I was doing my last warm-up set there. I was thinking, well, I do pause reps fairly often in my routine, but it's usually just during my routine I'll do a random pause or maybe I'll do one set of pause or something like that. Now I'm only doing six sets total here. These two 135 sets and then four sets going higher. So. I don't know. What I think I'm going to do today is try to do, is just do like maybe singles or maybe doubles, but make them pause reps on all my weights, all the sets. Just just kind of do something like that. Do something a little different today. Uh, that'll keep the reps down. That'll keep maybe going too heavy down. And uh, it'll still give me uh, a challenging workout by doing the rep, by doing the uh, pause reps. So I'm going to keep a keep the reps way down, keep everything kind of down here a little bit, but we'll do pause reps. How about that? And we'll start with uh, 225 doing that. So with 225, since it's fairly light, I might do upwards of maybe five reps, just, uh, just for good measure. And then we're going to come way down once we get past this. So just something a little different today, guys. Let's, uh, let's do some pause reps. Thank <laughs> you. 
let's go ahead and do the 275 probably for two reps so let's do it We got 315. Let's do a pause at 315. Let's put a 10 on and we'll do 335. All right guys, let's go ahead and do a pause rep of 335. That right there is all we're doing for chest today. Now let's do some triceps. All right, guys, as you can see, we're gonna do what I call, well, it's a long, long, long name, the two hand, one dumbbell skull crusher. These are what I call skull crushers. Now I don't always come up straight above my head. A lot of times I keep my arms extended back just a little bit because I like the pressure that it keeps on my triceps rather than coming up here and locking out at top of me. To me, that just kind of puts the weight more straight down and less on the tricep. That's just how I do it. Uh, with, uh, with skull crushers or really anything, there's you know multiple ways of doing things. And, and I think we all just kind of, you know, we find our own way and our own, our own comfort and uh, the reasons that we might do certain movements certain ways and this is kind of how I do it and uh, so let's go ahead and get started we're going to start with a 50 pound dumbbell we'll warm up a couple sets with this and then we'll jump to the big boys and uh, then we'll put the hurting on so let's do some uh, skull crushes guys 50 pound Set number two, fifties. Now we're ready for the big boys we're going up to the 100s and you're probably asking yourself mike why do you have a belt on for these why is the belt on way up here and you have gloves on the gloves are because my 100s are single pound you know single plates and the collar on the inside where you're holding sometimes your fit your skin in between here gets caught between the plates when you're doing these very uncomfortable the belt is because I have a underlying weird nerve tissue, some kind of problem right in this area. I've had it for several years now. Uh, it could be from my back uh, and the nerves coming around. They don't know. They didn't really do a lot of checking on me, but that's just their quick explanation. So I have some pretty...
cruddy pins here. They're not horrible like they used to be, but they're uncomfortable. And when I do these skull crushers, I'm stretching way out, and that affects it uh, whenever I go heavy. So if I put this on, it keeps pressure on that area right here, and it makes it uh, not so bad. So let's go ahead and get the 100s and get these over with. Pounds, set number two. happy with that. It's been a while since I've done two sets of 10. Cool. All right, we got the 80s. We're going to do two sets of these, hopefully 10 a piece. Eighties, set number two, final set. Guys, I'm going to do an extra body part today. I'm not going to do but maybe just a couple of sets. And uh, I think what I'm going to do are some shoulder presses, dumbbell. Uh, I'm not going to warm up. I think I'm safe to not warm up after just doing chest and doing triceps as heavy as I did and all that. I'm pretty warmed up. So I'm going to try and push out a few reps of these hundreds uh, like I did last week. I'm not gonna do this all the time, but I felt it was either this or do another another bicep routine or back or and I, I just chose to do these. So we'll see how it goes and uh, let's move these hundred pound dumbbells guys. Stick around.
pound dumbbells. gloves on this time. I got pinched. 100 pound dumbbells. Step number two. guys and just like that we are done with another workout another week and uh, you know we might not have broke any records this week but one thing's for sure we kept going we kept putting in the time and the effort and uh, that's what matters that's when that's what's gonna get you where you want to go we all know if you've watched my channel we all know where I'm trying to go I got one more goal to get and that's 400 pound flat bench one rep max PR so that's where I'm trying to get to and uh, we'll get there we'll get there we can't let too much time pass or well, we can sabotage ourselves you know sometimes too much time can pass so sometime hopefully this summer uh, I'm gonna go for it and just see where I'm at so Anyway, pretty good little workout today. Something different that I wanted to do for chest. To still get in a chest workout, but to tone it way down quite a bit. And uh, so I did that with the paused reps, with just real low reps. And uh, yeah, pretty happy I got 335. I could probably get 355 for a max, maybe, uh, pause rep. But uh, we'll stick with 335 for now. And on the triceps, uh, of course I did the, you know, those one dumbbell skull crusher things and uh, did pretty good with those I'm happy with those because it's been a long time since I've done uh, 10 reps you know two two sets of, of 10 reps so they've been kind of difficult for me lately because I don't push my triceps hard like I used to so happy with that and then finishing off doing something sporadic with the uh, shoulder presses now I can't do those often I don't need to because of my bad arm and I can definitely tell where it gets the most strain and that's whenever I'm coming up and I kick the dumbbells up pretty good but once you get to about here you know there's a lot of pull in this area right here and that's where I have all that soft tissue that's damaged and uh, scar tissue and it all gets inflamed and stuff and uh, I don't want to do that I don't want to mess it up because that messes up my bench so I got to lay off of those I did them last week I wanted to try them and see if I could still do them and I did them and then today I just spur of the moment was like well let's go ahead and do those again so I don't need to do those uh, very often but it is nice to know uh, all my hard work that it took to get to the 100s isn't lost and I can still do them Maybe not as many reps and as many sets, but I can still do them. So, anyway, overall, pretty good little workout, guys. Uh, my week is done. I take the weekends off, of course, and I will try to get a walk-in this weekend, probably. Uh, I have the last couple of weekends, and I'm proud of that. And I'm going to try to make myself proud and do another walk this weekend. And uh, so, yeah, we're, we're moving right along. So anyway, guys, I hope I give you a little inspiration to uh, do something yourself and uh, healthy for yourself inside and out. 
you know, working out or cycling or even spinning on a bike or walking a treadmill or going outside to walk or playing tennis or basketball or, you know, going to play some golf or, you know, just doing something to get active, plant a garden, do some yard work, do some housework, you know, do some things like that. And that's still a lot of uh, exercise. It's just a different kind of exercise. It's still good, though. Hey, jump some rope. Go jump some rope or go swim in or, you know, do something like that, too. Make sure you get in a little bit of that, too. So if I give you a little inspiration to do any of that stuff, please, by the power of Grayskull, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the Body Beatdown. That's me, Michael, your He-Man host. Anyway, get up, get out, get red. Do it to it. We'll see you next time on the Body Beatdown. See ya. Get up, get out, get red, and do it, do it.